Hello, Nomads Cult, and this video is about face groups and how to create outlines. Okay, so with the new version 185, there is a new tool. Um, it's a face group tool. Here you see it. Whoops. <laughs> um, so it's here. This is the face group tool. So and Let's start with a new sphere. So you see um, it becomes a new face group color. So here in the shading menu you can change uh, here the um, yeah, display thing here for face group. Um, okay, so we need a little bit more poly count. I validate the sphere and I subdivide it like this. So you can use here the face group tool and create a new patch. So let's use the other color. And here dot menu uh, dot tool is active and so we can uh, draw here something in a new face group color. No, oh, it's not a nice heart little bit smaller <laughs> so now it becomes a nice heart so um, so and now it's possible with other tools here um, to select here via the face group a mask here the mask tool is active and when you tap here the face group is masked so now when you use the invert function or tap on the screen, then you see here, here is such a, a bleeding edge here after inverting the mask. So, and this you can use to create an outline. So here in the mask, there's a splitting option and I set it to non non and I split this mesh. So I set the outline and we can see it. So now we have two meshes, this and this. And, and now we use the inner mesh. I use now the solo view. And now I use again the face group masking and tap on the color here. And again the splitting option. So now our third mesh is the outline mesh. And now it's possible oops, to change um, here the color of the patch. I create here a new patch, maybe blue. And let's paint the whole new outline in a new color. I think in the next version it's possible to um, use tapping on the color or on the mesh to change the color. So everything is blue now. And here in the hierarchy I select now all meshes and join them back together. So here is separate, so could not separate the mesh, it's a closed mesh. So now we have three colors here from the face groups. And now it's possible to use the mask tool again. So I, I show you the wireframe, now it's a very small borderline here. And now when we tap on the face group, we can invert it again. So now you see here the bleeding here, sorry, here now we have three, uh, three pixels like this or um, and now it's possible to split it again. So, so you can create an offset um, yeah. 
So here in solo view. And now it's possible to change the color again. So we need blue. So I paint it blue. And join it back together. Okay, nice. Now we have a nice border. And here with a smooth tool here, we can now smooth the edges that they are very sharp like this so and again with a mask tool it's possible to create an offset uh, of the mesh here I use the inflate scale brush and I clear the mask and I smooth it again to create here a nice edge. So now it looks like this. Smooth shading off. Nice outline. That's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.